hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel i hope you have successfully installed wireshark on your machine from previous video this video i will show you how to set filter on wireshark and packet capture on wireless interface and save into your file let's launch wireshark first from wireshark homepage identify your interface which is used to forward the traffic. Here you can see my Wi-Fi interface is used to forward the traffic. As you can see all this little spark. First step is to create a profile for yourself. Look at this profile at the bottom window. Do the right click. Create a new profile. Say called test profile. Click on OK. Now we have moved to the test profile. The benefit of creating this test profile is you can create lots of custom and save to your profile. Second step is to capture the traffic. Either you can click on this little icon or you can go to this capture and do the go to the option. Here you can see all the interface. Select your interface, go to output file, choose the location where you want to create your file. And you can also choose if how big will be your file depends on your time data and you can select these options and if you go to this last option you can also select what time you want to stop your capture let's leave it like this for the testing point of view let's click on the start here you can see now capture has been started it is capturing the packet let's generate some test traffic for our testing let's go to this website let's go to google as well let's go to apple Let's do some other test as well. Say ping google.com.au. We are generating some ping to Google. Generating another ping. Generating quick ping to Apple. Okay, Apple doesn't reply. Let's go to apple.com if that replies. Nope. Okay, let's go to Yahoo. Okay, so we got a couple of replies. And let me generate some talent traffic to this website on 443 that works as well so we have generated some traffic to a couple of websites ping traffic and we are still capturing all these logs okay before we do this let's talk about tcp handshake we host a sends a tcp sync packet to be host we receive the sync packet host we send back the synank packet and host A receives the synank packet. Host A sends a ACK packet and host B receives the ACK packet. So this is how the TCP socket connection is established. Now we can stop these logs and we can start analyzing it. Okay, first step. If you go to any log just do a right click and go to apply filter and you can select as a filter i found this is the easiest way to do to add any syntax as you can see on this green bar ip.source is a syntax double equal to 10.10.10.52 
that is the source IP address if you want to add a destination IP address right click again apply filter and you can choose option either and and or depends on your requirement if you choose and it will show us a traffic between this source and this destination and in this filter bar if you see this color is green that means your filter syntax is correct if I move something it's changes color has been changed it means there is some problem with the syntax and if you want to add some more ports say tcp dot port equal to um, so we can see now you have a source this destination this tc port of this let's change our destination to our industry traffic that we generated let me verify my IP address again what is my IP address so I can apply this my IP address is destination is one of the website and destination port is 443 so I can see there are lots of traffic happening here if you look at this packet this packet is the first thing sent by my machine there are multiple ways to find the TCP way handshake first way if you click on this go to this file and go to this next packet in this conversation that will come up with this line that is saying act packet because here we filter based on source IP and destination IP and the port this will showing us a one way of traffic so this way you can say whether you are generating the sync packet or not we are receiving the ACK as well but we want to see synank as well so to do that let's make the syntax different let's choose address is this and choose any address and just take out this packet so what will happen now this will show you all the communication between this IP and this IP address now if you want to see again the synac packets let's go to the sync this is the first thing generated by my machine if you go to go option and look at the next packet next packet is showing me CNANC from sequence number 0 if you go further details into this CNANC this will show you this ACK this is the ACK analysis into frame 457 and 457 was my first CNANC sync and this one is this packet that is 535 this packet so we have we sent the sync I received the synank now I have to send the ACK so other ways if I go to go again and go back to the next cap packet in this communication click on next this will show me the ACK that I sent from my machine so if I look at this packet a little bit more analyze this will say this is a Acknowledge coming from packet number 535 and which one was that synag. So this is how we can see the TCP session was established between this source and this destination. That was the one way you can analyze your TCP three-way handshake traffic. Okay, let's talk about another way of capturing this information and analyzing it. If I do right click on this and go to a conversation filter for the TCP option click here and you will see lots of option here and you will see the filter has been changed to different format now if you look at sync packet is generated this synank is come back and we send the acknowledgements so this conversation is between 
the source and destination so you can choose whatever way you want to choose is easy for you based on your requirement either you want to select source based destination based port based if you want to see only tcp ports then you can use tcp.ports equal to if we generate anything 443 tcp it will show you all 443 traffics here you can see my machine send a client hello packet and we receive a client server hello as well so we established SSL session in this communication let's see if we capture our ICMP if you type ICMP and hit enter you will see all the ICMP traffic that we generated from our test traffic also if you want to capture any particular destination or network then you can do IP dot address equal to say 10.10.10.0 10 slash 24 so this will show you the all networks what's happening between this network and this network so a little bit more advanced so I hope you like it stay tuned for more Washak video for detailed ICMP TCP and UDP traffic thanks for watching this bye